Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Tom Strix. Uh, I'm a principal network engineer here at Cloudflare. I'm one of the folks that is responsible for the day-to-day -day maintenance and operations of the global Cloudflare network, um, as well as any of the, the new products that we're developing that might be built on top of uh, the network that we have. Dave was one of the the original gangsters, right? Is, is probably the best way of describing him. Um, he's been in the network industry for as long as, as I can remember. Um, he started an ISP in, in, in 1993. Um, and, and since then, he's always been active in the, um, the network industry as a whole in the network community. He's what most people within the industry know him for is, is the buffer bloat project. So Dave was, was passionate about access to the internet, right? And making sure that as many people could get access to this amazing, amazing thing that is the internet. And, and one of the things that he realized is that um, one of the biggest blockers to this is buffer bloat. Um, very quickly, what buffer bloat is, is excessive buffering within um, customer premise equipment or in, in consumer devices causes a significantly degraded uh, internet experience. And, and this was something that Dave was incredibly passionate about. And that's where he started with the buffer bloat project. Initially, you know, for, for education, uh, making sure that people were aware that this was a problem, that this is something that he cared about. But also at the same time, um, he's a doer, right? So, so what he, one of the things he did was, was build out uh, fair queuing uh, mechanisms within the Linux kernel. Um, for, for those of you that, for those of you that, uh, that care about that, it's uh, the, the FQ Coddle implementation. That's, that's one of the things that Dave contributed back, did that in the, the early 2000s, I think. So, so he's always been very passionate about, about buffer bloat and, and making sure that we can get the best things for, for it. And, and in the, the later years, in, in 2010, I think he started uh, buffer bloat, uh, the, the Libra Quas implementation. Which in turn, again, is, is to kind of enable more network vendors to, to build out this, this fair queuing strategy uh, that allowed for better throughput, better performance uh, in general. It's, it's one of those things that is actively used, for example, in Starlink. Um, honestly, I think, frankly, like Starlink would not have been the success or is not the success without the contributions from Dave. Um, like we, we wouldn't, they wouldn't be here um, without all of those contributions that Dave has made. And, and yeah, that's, that's why he's, you know, he's super important um, to, to the, the wider network industry and the wider network community. How should Dave be remembered? Celebrate him, right? He was this versatile human being, not just a network engineer, not just an open source contributor, even though those are, you know, incredibly uh, important at the end of the day, the open source community thrives due to the contributions that its individuals make. But he was a musician. Uh, he was very heavily into like asteroids and things like that. Anything space related. He thrived on community. Um, he he loved being um, at conferences and and talking at length about buffer bloat or any of the projects that he's passionate about. See, so, yeah, I think generally like using the internet by default is a celebration of his life and his work because he has contributed so much to it. But just in general, yeah, like celebrate him that he's that he contributed and that, that he's been here i think that's the, the thing he would appreciate the most is, is just kind of you know celebrate and, and use the things that he has contributed back um, i think more than anything else how does dave's work represent the good things about science and technology i think it's 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 more about individuals contributing to something for the greater good right not for their own betterment, but purely for the betterment of the, the wider community, actively contributing and researching something that they're passionate about, and then not just keeping it for themselves, but contributing it to a wider community that will very likely get significantly more advantage out of it than, than the person themselves. Um, just actively being passionate about this and, and being passionate about fairness and access to things that are such a vital resource. He wasn't paid for this. This wasn't a thing that, you know, he did out of his own betterment. No, he did this because he cared. He did this because he was passionate about this um, as a whole. And, and I think that's that's kind of the really cool thing um, that we see within the wider open source community is that a lot of open source contributors do this not out of monetary gain or personal gain. They do this because they care more than anything else. It is purely that, that level of care, that level of passion about something. Um, and then giving that back to, to the world is, is, is um, something to be admired, uh, I think, more than anything else.